Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw super cute animals, even if you're a beginner. Now what I'm using to draw these is a really cool tool that I purchased on Creative Market, the Character Drawing Toolkit. It's made by this illustrator, Lisa Glanz, and is Procreate stamp brushes of a bunch of different templates of shapes and features, and you can take each component to build your own characters, and then use that as a template to draw animals, people, any kind of characters that you want. I really enjoy using it because drawing characters in different styles and characters with a lot of expression isn't one of my strengths, and so this gives me a really good jumping off point. It's great for beginners and for more seasoned artists. So that's what we're going to be using today. I have, will have a link to it in the description. I'm also going to be using my own paper canvas, which you can download for free if you follow the link in the description. And really excitingly, I was able to sneak in on the public beta for Procreate 5, and so that's what I'm going to be playing around with today. I definitely want to do more videos showing you what's new in Procreate 5, but today we're just going to be using some of the new brushes. So let's get into it. So I'm in Procreate and I'm working in a paper texture that I made. So in my layers panel, I have my texture stack at the top and then my painting layers below. And then I'm gonna add these additional layers to create the template for the animal that I'm drawing. Next, I'm going into my brushes panel where I've already imported the brushes included in the character drawing toolkit. These brushes are categorized into different components and each have their own folder for the component category. When I'm using them, I like to place each component on its own layer so that I can make adjustments to say the eyes without affecting the whole body. So I'm starting with the body and I'm going to go into the shapes pack and I'm going to use what I think will be a good base for the body of the cat that I'm going to draw today. These brushes are stamp brushes so to use them you just have to tap once to make the shape appear. Once I have the shape then I tap the selection arrow and then I put it on uniform, turn magnetics on, and rescale the shape. I'm also going to slightly rotate this guy. Then on my next layer I'm going to place the head. I am using just the cat head shape so I'm doing the same thing. I tap once for the shape and then I use the selection arrow to resize it using uniform and magnetics. My next step here is to switch back to working on the body layer and I'm going to go into just a regular drawing pen. I like to use the studio pen, which is under the inking folder. And I'm gonna start drawing in some of the features of the body. This is usually a really rough sketch and I make a ton of changes as I go. But this is kind of where I really start to visualize the pose and what this cat or character is going to look like. Once I've drawn out the rough outline of the body, I'm going to go back into the head layer and I want to change the perspective slightly. So I'm going to go back to the selection arrow and choose warp and then I'm going to select advanced mesh. And then I am going to tap in the center of the mesh and just drag it slightly and this is going to move the template so that it looks like the cat's face is slightly angled away. So basically it's just not facing head on. While I'm still in the mesh tool, I'm gonna to make the head a little shorter too, just by dragging these corners down. And then I'm going to switch into the studio pen to draw the ears. Now, the character drawing toolkit does come with an ear pack, but for cats, I prefer to draw my own. So I'm gonna use the studio pen again, and I'm just gonna roughly sketch these in. Before I exit this layer, I'm going to add a little nose. Then I'm gonna go into my bottom layer and I'm going to go into the eyes brush pack. Now there's a ton of options for different expressions and eyes are something that I typically struggle with so I love all of these options. Uh, today I'm gonna to use these narrow leaf shape eyes because this cat is going to be grumpy. 
When I use the eye templates, I like to stamp them out, then use the free selection tool to just pull one eye onto the face at a time. That way I can adjust the angle and the spacing and everything separately. And so by working on them one at a time, I can get it just perfect. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm gonna go in and draw some features, tweak the face, and make sure that I'm happy with the scale of everything. You'll see that I'm merging the layers together. Then I do some selecting and resizing of the head and the face and the ears just to make sure that everything is the scale that I'm going for. Okay, so what I have now is a quick trace that I did of my template layer, which I'm going to drag to the top of my painting layers and I'm gonna turn the opacity way down. So now I'm ready to begin actually painting. I'm working with some new brushes that I made with the new Procreate 5 beta test. This is a fairly transparent brush, which is perfect for what I'm doing because I really wanna layer in the colors. So I'm going in really lightly with this first layer, working from the darkest parts of the body to the lightest. Next, I'm going down to the layer below this, and I'm gonna use this lighter brown to warm up the color of this guy and bring in a little more color to the coat. Now I am merging these two layers together and I am going to blend in the colors a little more and soften things up. I am still gonna keep some of this layered look because that's the aesthetic that I want, but I do want to soften the edges and blend the color a little more. next step is to go into a new layer and I'm gonna start working on the outline in black. I'm using the same watercolor brushes before, but a smaller size. This brush layers on color really nicely, so I'm able to add in some finer details and also really build up the color to be really dark. So it works for both the outline, which I don't want to be pure black, and for the eyes, which I do want to be really sharp and black. Now that I'm done with the outline, I'm going to add in more shading and I'm gonna work on another layer just in case I need to make adjustments or erase something. This is a really good opportunity too for me to build up a little more color and make it a little more rich.
I'm also doing some blending on this layer, which is another reason that I like to separate this out and work in a different layer for my shading. All right, now I am going to add another layer, this time on the top of the stack. I'm gonna keep the blend mode at normal because this is going to be the highlight layer. So I'm going in with a solid white and I'm gonna add some reflections in the eye. I'm also coloring in the cat's eyes in this layer with some soft green. Then I'm going back to a white color and I'm gonna add some overall highlighting to the body and finish off the snaggle tooth and just add in any little white accents that I need to to really round out the art. I also ended up giving him a small pink splotch on his nose and gave him some white coloration in his fur. So for my last step, I am adding in one final layer and I'm gonna wash in some color to give him a little shadow to sit on. And again, I'm using a watercolor brush. I am going to paint around his body, but then I'm also going to use the eraser to go in and make sure that I clean up anywhere that I did accidentally paint over his legs. And that is done. That's how I use the character drawing toolkit to paint animals even when I have no idea what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that it was helpful and made you learn something. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I'm putting out new videos weekly-ish. And leave any questions you might have below. If you follow the link in the description, you can download my free watercolor paper texture as well as some free brushes for Procreate. And I'll also have a link to the character drawing toolkit if you're interested in that as well. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.